In this video, I'm going to walk through three free and legal resources that you can use to find Japanese and Asian artwork. We're talking watercolors, illustrations, and vintage photographs. These are completely free and have no trademark or copyright restrictions. Let's go. So there's a couple things that's frustrating if you're trying to search for Japanese or Asian images to use in your artwork. Maybe you're a digital artist, maybe you're uploading onto print on demand sites. And so when I type in Japanese artwork, you just get back a ton of stuff. And it's like, where do you even start to look, right? There's things on Etsy, there's art.com. Well, these are all commercial sites. So it's like, where do you find stuff that's free that you can use? The first one that I'm going to recommend is called the J. Paul Getty Museum. Now I'm going to put the links in the, in the video description below, but just in case you're watching this on television and you can't see the comments, this is how you would find it. So you'd get to this getty.edu. So it's the J. Paul Getty Museum. And then when you're in here, this leads me to my second sort of complaint about the world is it's really hard to find individual images and collections inside of these museum websites. I find they're just, you get overwhelmed with lots of stuff and you don't always know what the rights are on these things. So it's pretty easy once you know where to look, but it's finding it that can be tough. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the right hand side and I'm going to click the little search button and I'm going to click on, I'm going to type in Japanese vintage. And what'll come back is you get a whole bunch, you get 227 results, but none of this seems to match what we're looking for. There's just these rank random pictures and we don't know if any of this is part of a collection. So we're gonna try this one more time. And what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna type in J. Paul Getty museum. And we're going to type in Japanese album. A little bit of a hack here. And you'll see it comes up with the first result. It says getty.edu art collection objects album spine title Japanese album. We're going to click on that. This gets you to an album that has 99 different prints inside of it. And they're absolutely beautiful old vintage photographs. I'll just pop this one open here real quick. And we can see here, this is a seated woman is the name of it. Now, if you're wondering, do I have the rights to use this? Yes, you do. Right underneath each photo, it says no copyright United States. I'm just going to click on that and just open it up here in another tab. And we can see it says no copyright. And they're always going to throw a disclaimer down because they can't absolutely guarantee. But this is pretty good. I mean, if you have to go to source, if somebody ever contends that you're violating someone's trademark or you're using an unauthorized image, you can at least point back to the website and say, look, I'm on the J. Paul Getty Museum and it says there's no copyright. So that's one resource that I really like. And it's part of this collection. So there's a lot of different ones in here. There's about nine pages of artwork about 99 images total. And some of them are just really, you know, breathtakingly wonderful. This one's called Wind Costume. Now, if you wanted to see it in a larger, you could like a uh, larger resolution, you can click on the little plus button and that'll zoom it in, which is really nice. You can also do a full screen and that will show you, you can actually go like really, you know, really high res. So if you're interested, you know, you could print this for your house. You could use this for some sort of graphic design element. But, you know, I just think that these are just absolutely stunning, beautiful and free and legal vintage illustrations. Now, if you want to download one of these images, you could just, you know, right click on it and view the image. But you can get a really, really high definition image if you click the download button and you'll see that there's a couple different options here. One says presentation study size. The other one says print resolution size. And then the big one here says highest resolution size. And that is just a massive photo. So when you click on that, it's going to ask you 
why you're using this. So you can just say you're a private individual. You can also select the reason that you're using it. And then when you click submit, it will start downloading the image. Now I've downloaded it in advance, but it will, it took me like about 30 seconds for this image to download. And it's absolutely huge resolution. Now it's a vintage photograph. So there's obviously going to be some imperfections on it, but if you're looking at having a, you know, maybe a poster or something where you can display this in your house or in your office or something, or using it for graphic design, you get a really nice high quality photograph. The second resource that I really like is called the Clark Center for Japanese Art and Culture Collection. And so again, I'm going to put the link to this in the video description. But if you wanted to just get this off of Google, you could literally just type in Japanese artwork Clark Center. And it'll just come back with the Clark Center for Japanese Art. That's the one you're looking for. There's a couple down here. But Clark Center for Japanese Art. When you click on it, there's 891 items in this collection. And some of them are just wonderful. I mean, all of them are wonderful, but there's some that are really standouts here. I'm just going to open up a few of them. And we can see here, this one is, I really like using vintage Japanese letters. This would be great if you ever wanted to get, say, you know, a stencil, stencil it for your wall. You wanted to get a tattoo or you wanted to use some sort of graphic design artwork. This is just you know, pretty high, high resolution of Japanese letters. And again, to download, you would just go down here to the right. You can see it says public domain, no restrictions on use. And then there's also a download option here on the right hand side. If you click it, you'll be able to download this item. There's another example. This one is era aristocratic woman with dog. And again, you can just click the little plus button and you get in there pretty, pretty high res. You can see the doggy there. You can also go full size if you wanted as well, if you wanted to move around. And then you can just go back in. And I'll just pick one more here. I really like this Japanese lettering, but here's one that is a whole bunch. So again, you could make this into some sort of artwork if you wanted, and it's pretty high res. I really like this. Clark Center for Japanese Art and Culture. I think it's a really nice collection. The third resource that I like is a selection of prints and it's in conjunction with two museums. So the first one is it's the British Library and they're working in conjunction with the Japan Center for Asian Historical Records. So what you'd want to do to find this one, this one's a bit buried, I'm not going to lie. So what you want to do is you want to type in British Library Sino Japanese art. And then what happens is the Japanese collection comes up and there's a few different ones here, but they all link eventually to the same thing. I just go to the Sino Japanese war prints and then that'll bring you to the actual gallery list down below. They like, you know, talking about the collection and, you know, that sort of thing. But when you click on gallery list, this is where you'll see the actual galleries. And so again, I'm just going to click on the first one and just open it up just to see, you know, it's really nice, beautiful vintage illustration. And then you can also see underneath it, it's got individual things here about the actual print. Now, if you're wondering where does it say that it's in the public domain, right at the top of the entire collection, it says all images of the prints used in this website are provided by the British Library and are in the public domain. So again, you can always bring it back to source if you need to. It's really nice when it just says it right on the web page, like right at the top, nice and easy. And again, these are just beautiful, you know, vintage Japanese artwork that you could use for any reason because it's in what they call the public domain. And so you can just use it for commercial purposes. You can use it for personal purposes. It's a really nice, easy resource to use once you find the gallery. The hard part's finding these galleries. The easy part is once you find it, you can just scroll through these beautiful galleries. There's lots of pages and uh, you know these are wonderful resources. As always, if you found this video helpful, please do hit the like button and the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Thank you so much.